Hi, I'm Josh Plume. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we will be talking about something that is used all of the time, especially in industrial applications. I'm talking about pump curves. For the purpose of this video, we will discuss the basics of pump curves and what they are. We will talk about the different types of data that are shown in the pump curve and why that data is important. We will also talk about why pump curves are used and how they are used to make sure that the pumps we use are sized properly and for the application that they are intended to be used in. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper instruction regarding pumps and pump curves. With that being said, let's take a closer look at pump curves and see what they are and why we use them. So what is a pump curve? A pump curve is a graphical representation of the performance characteristics of a pump. This representation is typically shown as a graph where one piece of information is plotted on the x-axis and the other piece of information is plotted on the y-axis. The two most common pieces of information shared on a pump curve is the head and the flow of the pump. Head is the height at which a pump can raise water or type of fluid upward, connect a tube or pipe to a discharge end of a pump, and measure the height at which the pump can raise that fluid. This is the maximum head of that pump. This measurement can be done in feet, meters, inches, or any other metric used for length. Flow is the rate at which the water or fluid can be pumped through the pipe. There are also other pieces of data that can be shown on a pump curve depending on the pump and manufacturer. What is important to know when reading a pump curve is that all of the data that is being shown is a representation of the pump's performance in the various different states that it may exist in. It is important to understand that head and flow are directly related to each other. For example, if I have a pump that is expected to move 10 gallons of water per minute, the head or height at which the pump needs to lift the water will impact the flow rate at which the water can be pumped. If the pump is expected to move that water 50 feet upwards, it may not be able to achieve the necessary 10 gallons per minute. It all depends on the pump design. However, if we look at a similar scenario where a pump is expected to move 10 gallons per minute, but there is only three feet of head, it is going to be a lot easier for the same pump to meet the expected 10 gallons per minute that is needed. So again, it is important to understand that the head and the flow are related to each other and one will impact the other. With this information, the pump curve will typically offer the most efficient way in which to use the pump. The efficiency of a pump is the relationship between the input horsepower required to drive the pump at a given operating condition and the water horsepower being created by the pump. No pump is 100% efficient, always requiring more power than can be released. The pump curve will also show both the optimal operating range and the allowable operating range. The optimal range will provide the information that will show where the pump will perform at its peak without putting too much stress on the pump. This optimal range is typical when you see the highest amount of flow with a certain acceptable head. It is important to try to select a pump that will be able to function in this optimal range if possible. This will prolong the life of the pump. The allowable operating range will show what the limits of the pump are while still being able to function and do so safely. Trying to operate out of this range will result in pump failure or unacceptable results. Understanding what a pump curve is and why we use them is important in making sure our most critical infrastructure sites function the way we need them to. Having a better understanding of this topic will allow you to make sure you know what to expect from your pump and also make sure that it functions safely and as expected. For a full line of industrial pump hardware, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. 
For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.